The beauty of uh, cinematography is the beauty of light. No matter how good is your camera, how good is your lens, if you don't have any light, you cannot see anything. It will be just a black screen. The beauty of Daedalites is the fact that it's so well designed for the cinematographers and for the actual needs and for the uh, absolutely unlimited creativity. I just used the imager, the projection attachment, which is, uh, in my mind, a uh, piece of art in terms of engineering and it is already a third generation where you have different possibilities as you can see DP 2.1 is a projection attachment which offers the possibility of use a fixed uh, shutter leaves shutter blades and this is very handy and Enormous accuracy and quality of every effect is basically the origin of existence and purpose of existence of this unit. It has interchangeable lenses and you can easily choose from wide-angle lenses to the standard or long-focus lenses and even zooms. You can use the special barrel which gives the possibility of shooting macro effects and one of those I just did recently. The important subject is that for the shot I basically use the camera on the standard tripod, uh, just one lighting stand, one light head, one projection attachment and additional source of the soft light and this is it. The setup took about five to seven minutes. I cannot say that the result is totally unique, but it's quite impressive. And the most impressive subject is that it uh, takes practically no time and it takes no money. Because this is the smallest uh, imaginable package. It is so easy to handle. The only thing which matters is the result. When you're getting result fast without additional budgets, without additional efforts, that's a freedom. I love those tools, so very often it happens that the uh, possibilities offered by equipment actually widening up your imagination and giving you a very good leads where to go and how to go. Many people look at the Jado projector unit and the way they see it being useful is for projecting an image behind, which could be a slide, could be a gobo, could be some form of transparency that you'd print it out. However, the way I was seeing you use it, you're using it to direct the light specifically. It's a different way. Could you explain? Yes. Uh, we got quite a lot of talks about this subject with Dedo. Uh, and at the beginning, it was just a projection attachment. And I, I believe that that was a kind of a misleading address. Projection attachment can project, and we have a special uh, slight projection, uh, let's say, version of the imager. And yes, the intensity and the quality cannot be compared with any uh, traditional slide projector. I mean, so far we didn't try to project moving images, and there is amazing video beamers, which also offering uh, tremendous quality and even intensity. But those are extremely expensive and very bulky. And uh, this is not something what you can have around yourself on every standard location. And that was a moment when there was an addition uh, attached to the name of the unit. Then it became an imager. We were trying to avoid calling it a projection attachment because imager, maybe not on also a 100% right address, but it's still much more accurate and it gives you an uh, impression of what this unit can do. As soon as the character of the light and the quality of the light may be perfectly seen with the quality and the character of the shadow, so basically I think that one of the possible names, let's say, or addresses for this unit will be light shadow maker. Because it creates First of all, 
absolutely incomparable accuracy where you can put the light exactly where you need it and to avoid any physically any stray light you can define the edge by focusing or defocusing the lens which is practically just a small movement uh, you can project uh, a patterns or the, the color backgrounds and again focusing defocusing it uh, tuning it by dimming or changing the color temperature depend depends on the uh, unit which you use behind the projection attachment it can be uh, LED by color uh, light, dead light, or it can be classical uh, halogen light. And even if I would try to express the main effects which this unit can give, I mean, we will end up with a full length feature film. And I mean, basically, the subject is that I tried a couple of things today, and it was elimination of the element of my watch. And then uh, we try to make a scanning of the face and the eye of the actor. And those accents, actually, and possibilities, which, from one hand, in some terms, may be successfully achieved in the post-production, but the quantity of time and money you have to spend for that will be uncomparably higher. Being able to do that within the reasonable budget and practically without no time spending, it is amazing. It is the beauty.